it's Simplicity and welcome back to a new video. Today we have another episode of Showtime. I think this is part 11 if I remember correctly and starting off this part um Charlotte's over here making some cookies but Zoe is aging up to a full-grown cat. So we officially have a little fluffy cat instead of just a teeny tiny kitten which is absolutely adorable. You need to come over here and like deal with the washing machine because it's causing a little bit of chaos. But I hope you're all having a really good day. Happy Friday. Um, I am currently in the process of bulk filming Showtime because, you know, me trying to upload every day or like six days a week in July and August it definitely means that I had to kind of have to bulk film. But that doesn't mean that I still won't be reading your comments and everything. I'm just going to put the cookies away in here for right now. And uh, where is our cat? Right here. So, definitely looks like a very fluffy one, but very cute nonetheless. Honestly, I kind of love that she's fluffy like that. And then, when you're done your cookie, you can clean up. Um, cookies happens to be her pregnancy craving. So, that's kind of just, you know, what we're rolling with right now. And then, when she's done, I'm going to let her go to sleep. I didn't plan on picking up yet. But, when I saw that Zoe was aging up, I was like, oh, I apparently need to hit my button to film and record. You can come over here and get the clean laundry for me after you're done going to the bathroom so that we can move everything over to the dryer and all right so I just went ahead and skipped a little bit. Apparently it's baby time as soon as they got into bed. So that's how this is apparently going. So we had a birthday and now it's baby time. So I'm hoping that it's only one or like if necessary because of the family in the past just twins. Like, I'd be okay with twins, like, boy and a girl and call it a day. But I definitely want to go ahead, get a picture of Charlotte and label. Look at this precious little girl. Like, honestly, Charlotte is very cute. I haven't been, I will say, like, I'm not as connected to this season of leprosy as I have been. Uh, I think it's just because Showtime is so repetitive. But we're going to go ahead and let them head off to the hospital. And we're going to start off with the next generation. I've been trying to update the family tree as well in the middle of this. So it's definitely a good time to have a baby while I'm in the middle of updating the family tree. Alright, so we had a boy. Uh, we get to choose two traits. So I'm going to name him Felix. I just, I don't know, I feel like it's cute. So we'll just randomize. Actually, no, I'm going to randomize like five times. So two, three, four, five. Perceptive and excitable. Alright. So we have a little baby boy. Uh, you want to get married, I will lock that in. Are we not done? I'm guessing we're not done. Okay, so we had a girl. Um, I'm going to try and stick with the F name. So maybe let's go for like Freya. I feel is kind of cute. Because I couldn't think of any other names that start with an F. Two, three, four, five. I like Brave and Friendly. Those are good traits as well. Alright, so we have twins. Um, they're not, oh no. No, 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 no. I did not want to have lips. Uh, so we have another girl, so we need another name that starts with an F. Uh, do I want to name you Flora or Florence? I'm going to go with Florence, because I feel like if I went with Flora, it's kind of too similar to Freya. So, apparently you were meant to be evil and disciplined, considering we had that twice in a row. But alright, we had triplets. Is that what I was expecting? Absolutely not. But the fertility in this family is definitely way higher than I ever expected it to be. So here we are with some triplets. You know, I just, I don't know anymore. I can't say I'm surprised because, I mean, literally the fertility in this family is ridiculous. Like, everybody had, like, twins or triplets at some point. So we're going to go ahead and skip. Alright, so we're back. It is now the next day. It's like afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and actually call for services just really quickly. Um, our house is kind of disgusting right now. But I had to go ahead and add an extra crib because, you know, why would we not have triplets? But I actually want to go ahead and get a butler. Now, this is something I have yet to do when it comes to any generation but there is no way that with Charlotte being out to work so often that Hunter is going to be able to take care of the kids all on his own 
and like keep the house clean and make food. So I feel like it's going to be the best ad addition to this family that I could possibly get. Um, okay. So I'm trying to think of where to go on audition. Now we did do the Brotherhood. What do you mean they're not at work? They're literally on the lots. I don't understand. My game's like, yeah, no, you're just not going to audition anyway. We are not heckling anybody either. Um, it looks like you are. Okay, so we can go ahead and audition for you. That doesn't make any sense. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and queue up a bunch of auditions, I guess. Maybe see if we can just get, like, a bunch of gigs and go from there. Or maybe we'll try, at, like, the park. I don't know. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit bigger than that. But, you know, we're just going to do whatever we can and go from there. Um, actually, are you guys at work yet? Because, like, it looks like it. You're not. You might be. Okay, so it looks like it. I don't believe we've performed at a private club before. So it would be kind of nice to see if we can get a new venue. Now, I'm not, like, honestly, I'm never going to have my hopes up for it. Just because I don't know what you need to be at for specific places. Now, I can definitely, like, try, but I'm never going to be like, oh, man, I expected her to get it. Because, like, we are at level 7. We are slowly approaching level 8. Um, we should possibly be at level 8 in this part or the next part, depending on how long it takes. I'm assuming this is the butler, so hello, Archie. Um, if you are the butler, this is your bed right here, so he is the butler. Cool. So, at least we already had an extra room. I, now, I will say, like, when the triplets are, like, children, I will be kicking out the butler because it will be easier for me to, like, manage all of that. But right now, there's no shot. I'm also trying to make this a little bit easier on myself. So, hopefully that kind of goes well. And, uh, can we please audition for you? I don't know why that canceled out as soon as we got here, but it did. And she also, I need to kind of get rid of the key lime pie want. Uh, that was another little pregnancy craving of hers, which is kind of cute. She definitely had the very, like, sweet cravings. Now I'm going to pretend that I don't see that one mood lip. And, uh, we're just going to, you know, do our audition and fail. Alright, so it says that we need to practice a bit more, which is fine. So, can we go over here to the proprietor and see if we can get a gig in here? Because we have had a gig here before. And then after that, I think maybe we will try the park. It does seem like we do get a fair amount of people at the park. So it could definitely be worth our time. Um, I also don't know if I glitched this clear out or not, considering I had originally kicked them out of the household and then added them back in. So I'm hoping that wasn't the case and that I didn't glitch it out. But I guess there's always a possibility that I did. So, I just, I don't know. I guess we'll see. But alright, let's audition over here for this proprietor like we've done multiple times before. Two vehicles have been removed. And we're not up to the venue standards. What do you mean? We have performed this so many times. Um, alright, so the maid just cleaned our house. Very nice. Hopefully you did all my laundry because it was everywhere. And uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and head over to the park, see if we can audition over there. I'm honestly just going to do my best. Um, we are at a B list now, so I guess there's that. And then Hunter also last night got the rumor about having a child out of wedlock. And I'm like, yeah, well, you did, but who cares? Like, you guys are engaged. So, I'm not all too worried about it. Um, I just, I don't know. But, okay, let's go ahead and audition for the proprietor over here. See what we can get. Looks like the guy on stage is a little bit starstruck by Charlotte, so maybe we'll do all right here. Let's see. Um, okay, so perform at the park at 4.30 on Saturday. So that's tomorrow, so that's not bad. Um, so maybe we'll go ahead and actually see. I don't know. I'm assuming you can do this. So you can just line up, like, a bunch of gigs, like, audition for a bunch of gigs and have one, like, every day. Because I feel like that actually might be our best way to get promoted quicker. Um, again, this is me just learning from playing and not, like, watching anybody else. Because 
I'll be honest, I think I've only ever watched maybe one Showtime in my life, and that was before I had the pack. So it's not like it was like really set on me trying to like learn things. Alright. So we'll just head on over to see how many auditions we can get. And we currently have three upset babies, so uh, the party is somewhere else tonight. I don't care. We're not here to party, we're here to audition and see if we can get some jobs. That's really like my main thing. Like I would love to be able to get this up because I feel like we've been stuck at level seven for a very long time and I'm just kind of at the point where I'm over it. So how did that go? Of course my vehicles had to pop up and not up to this venue standards. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna try Mixmaster Karaoke and then we'll come over here to the little cafe and then you can also go ahead and audition over here. Um, you are still not on the lot. No. Okay, so I think that's everything. I don't think there's any way that you can audition for over here, if I remember correctly. So she's going to go ahead and do three auditions. We're going to pop over here to somebody that looks like he's reading a charisma book. And uh, you're going to go ahead and take care of your kids because it definitely needs to be done. So we'll go ahead and just, you know, snuggle and feed everybody. We have a lot of crying babies, all three of them. Okay, so give a bottle and then we'll come on over here to Felix and do the exact same thing. I apologize for the overwhelming sound of the crying babies, but you know, whenever you have triplets that are possibly all needing the exact same thing, it's probably going to happen more often than not because I'm taking care of their needs all at once as well. So, all right, so that seems to be as good as I've got for right now. And then I'm just going to fast forward through Charlotte's gig because it'll at least stay fast forwarded while Hunter's taking care of the babies. So, uh, come on, Hunter, let's get this going. Let's stop these babies from crying, get some green moods back instead of yellow. Because honestly, I am not in the mood for some babies crying tonight. I'm really, truly not. So, all right, but at least got one. Is the butler going to come and help, or are you going to be useless? Am I wasting my money on you? Because I, I actually don't know if the butler helps take care of kids or not. He's came in here to complain. So, there's definitely that. I'm actually going to cancel Felix out for right now. Because I want to make sure that the kids are being put back into the proper cribs. Because, like, they are color-coded. Um, okay, so it looks like we did get a gig at Mixed Master Karaoke, so that's pretty good. So she's just going to keep going and auditioning for places. Um, okay, so it is social and hunger. The bladders are also getting a little bit low, but it's not terrible. Like, I can definitely, you know, make it work. So now that you are, like, over there and in my way, I know that I'm not going to be able to reach Felix. So we're going to come over here to Freya after we're done with Florence. Uh, we got another gig at the coffee house. So we are actually picking up some gigs. They are a little bit lower class than what I was hoping for. But at this point, I feel like any gig is a good gig. So now that you're done auditioning, actually, I think you have one more audition to go to. You can come home and take care of Felix and get involved with some very upset, to I was going to say toddlers. But they are not quite toddlers yet, but some triplets. So, uh, audition was, oh, that was for the coffee house. Okay. I thought we just had finished our other audition. We have not. All right, so go ahead and take care of Freya. I know that his phone is ringing, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. I would much rather take care of the kids than answer the phone call. So, if you are really that upset about the triplets crying, why don't you help out and pick up Felix and take care of him? Like, really, it should not be that difficult. Um, okay, so we got another gig at Rodeo Go Go, so that's pretty good. Uh, right. So, we are definitely doing a lot better with at least getting gigs. Um, it does seem like they are all lined up, which is pretty great. So, let's go ahead and just take care of Freya here really quickly. And then, hopefully, Charlotte's on her way home to take care of Felix. Now, it does seem like some bladders are also being needed to be taken care of now. This butler is literally just standing in the way and complaining about crying. That's literally how this is going right now. So you can go ahead and put Freya back in her crib 
actually, I guess we have to change the diaper now. So before we do that, oh my goodness, look at you picking up a triplet. Very much appreciated here, Ochi. So we will go ahead really quickly, cue this in to change a dirty diaper, put her back in her crib. Um, hi Charlotte, welcome home. You got home at the exact same time that Felix, er, uh, not Felix, that Archie decided to help take care of Felix. So instead of doing that, because we currently do not have access to Felix because he is in the arms of the butler, you can come over here and change a dirty diaper on Miss Florence because, you know, she's also got one of those and we have a party in about an hour that we will not be attending because we have too many kids to take care of. Oh, goodness. I feel like ever since Generations that this family tree has been like, hey, fertility, which is kind of actually entertaining, and I like having a really big family tree, but considering I haven't uploaded the, uh, uploaded, updated the family tree that I have linked in the description since April, it's going to take me a bit to get some pictures and everything, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, you need to actually come over here and use the bathroom really quick. And then we have Zoe in the middle of the kitchen floor, but you also can come and grab some, I guess we'll do some mac and cheese. Um, you are not in a terrible mood actually. You could probably just do with a little bit of food. So how about we come over here and grab some mac and cheese as well. And we can hope that Felix is properly being taken care of by the butler because we can't do anything. No, he's actually not in too bad of a mood. His social could do a little bit better. But, like, other than that, the butler did definitely help. So, they're just grabbing some food. But, yeah, definitely could have done with, like, another two or so social interactions with Felix. Uh, give presentation to gain charisma. I guess we can definitely do that. I have been trying to get Hunter to work on his charisma skill. So, I definitely think that's going to help. And uh, you can go ahead and just eat your mac and cheese. Butler, I don't know what you're doing. You can just go ahead and do one whatever. I may actually give the butler like a makeover or something. Just because I just, I don't know. I haven't actually taken a look at his face to know what he looks like. But I have a feeling he's probably a pudding sim. Um, Alright, we're not doing terribly. It's peace and quiet in the house right now. If you can give a presentation after this, go right ahead. And then you can come over here to Felix and go ahead and just get his social up to the point that it should be. Because, you know, we didn't get the chance to. So, we'll just go ahead and increase that. And then for our gig schedules, we have gigs uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So, that's not bad at all. Definitely not going to complain about four gigs in a row. The one is a little bit late. But I feel like that's pretty good for, like, a decent, like, audience. So I'll just let them go ahead and eat. Um, apparently Sadie was begging for food and I missed that. My poor cat needs to go to the bathroom and scratch something, which I do actually have the stuff placed around here somewhere. I think I actually put the litter box in the butler's bathroom. Did I not? Where did I put the litter box? Did I not have a litter box? I swear I thought I did. Where I, I don't know where I put the litter box. This isn't good. Um. Yeah, nope, not a clue where I put the litter box. Okay, so I guess the cat's just been peeing in the house because I was not a very good cat parent. And uh, I apparently missed out on a litter box and a scratch post. Did I really not add anything for the cat? Alright, I guess I'm doing that now. I genuinely thought I did not the curtain I want to get rid of this globe because let's be honest I don't need it anyways and uh, if I go into well I didn't know this stuff was in here but I guess I could go ahead and sell some of the little collectibles here um, and then hop into sell it by function so that I can get stuff for the cat because I honestly thought that I did so I'll put a little scratching post apparently I have to turn my cheats on for that so we'll put a little scratching post over here in the corner and then as I said add the litter box into the uh, bathroom for the butler. I do actually have to rotate the shower so that it's functional as well but I think it's functional that way. And then 
I guess I could just add the little box like right beside the sink because I don't have anything else to put there. So where is the good little box that we don't have to clean? Um, right there. So we'll just put this over here so that the cat has somewhere to go to the bathroom. And we should be all right to go now that the cat has everything that she needs. So come over here and use this for me. And then we'll just go ahead and go over here to a little scratching post. You can go ahead and scratch. Can't believe I forgot the cat stuff. Honestly, I am just, I don't know, maybe I was just caught up in the chaos of the family and not thinking about the poor cat. But the cat is now taken care of and good to go. Luckily, we have multiple beds and food bowls around here. So that part I didn't have to worry about. And then I also have some, like, the toy crate little thing. Um, but at least the butler is cleaning up. That's quite nice. I don't have to worry about the house being a mess. Guess I could probably cancel the maid now that we have a butler. Um, I mean, we do technically have enough money that I could keep both, but I don't know if I will. And I guess you're not going to your presentation, which is all right. Uh, nope, we are not woohooing right now. I'm sorry. You can go ahead and go to sleep because the kids are all nice and quiet right now. And Charlotte's going to go ahead and just help out with Felix a little bit. And then she can go ahead and use the toilet and take a bath just to kind of, you know, have a little bit of a time to herself. Uh, Stuart is on his own feet and became a child. I believe Stuart is Phoenix's kid, but I could be wrong on that. Um, the family tree from the last time I've updated it, there's a lot of, like, male sims having kids with a lot of the people in the same family. So, like, siblings. So I think Cruz had kids with, like, Cordelia and then Phoenix or something like that. And it's just, there's a lot of, like, a weird intertwined thing going on here. But okay, so at least Felix's little social bar is taken care of now. So we'll go ahead and put him back in his crib and then Charlotte can go ahead, have a little bit of some time to herself. All right. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it goes fairly well. Um, looks like the butler is headed to bed, which is perfectly fine. Go and get your sleep. But all right. We're just gonna kind of wind down for the night. I think I'm getting pretty close to wrapping this part up if I'm completely honest. I feel like I've been filming for quite a bit uh, you can go ahead and get some sleep when you're done in the bath. I will save here shortly. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and wrap up soon. I'm hoping that the kids don't decide that they need like a bunch of attention while she's in the bath. But at the same time, it wouldn't surprise me. Um, Bree just got a job at the coffee house by the looks of it. Which she is in our family tree somewhere as well. Honestly, half the Sims in the family tree right now, I didn't know they were. So that was kind of interesting to me. All right, so everybody's doing okay. Oh, well, we are gonna actually have to take care of some socials here quite soon with the girls, but I think I'm gonna worry about that after Charlotte gets a little bit of sleep and they actually start crying. Should I do it that way? Probably not. But I think that's what I'm going to do anyways because I'm kind of hoping that they just fall asleep but I don't think that's going to happen. But I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap this video up right here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit the like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. I post videos six days a week this month from Monday to Saturday. If you already subscribed and want notifications when I post, go ahead and hit that bell down below. Make sure that YouTube notifications are turned on. And I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, lovelies.